I am Dr. Paulus Ghosh. I am an assistant professor at Department of Mathematics, IIT Guwahati, and I am also associated with the uh, Jyoti and Bhupad Mehta School of Health Sciences and Technology. And I am a statistician, and I do work with uh, all kinds of medical data. And I also design clinical trial from simple to advanced, which actually say you that whether a particular drug is uh, useful in terms of efficacy and has less side effects before going to the market. And today the work that I'm going to talk about is actually prediction of the knee osteoarthritis in terms of the Calgren and Lawrence scale, which is approved by the WHO. And this work actually done by uh, one of our students, uh, Mr. Rohit Kamath Jain with MK Data Science and jointly supervised by myself and uh, Professor Odijit Su from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. And other two collaborators are uh, Dr. Prasen Sarma and Dr. Sivaji Kaur. Both of them are former PhD students of Professor Su from the computer science department. And in this work, particularly, uh, if you know that if anyone uh, from your family is suffering from any knee osteoarthritis, then you know that how much difficult the pain. And the disease biology is something like that. You have two joints, like uh, the upper bone and the lower bone, and you have the cartilage in between. And that gap is very important. So when we have, we lose the gap, then the two bones comes to each other and that's the problem is created. So we are targeting to find out that gap using a deep learning framework, specifically called the osteo H and NET, which will detect spatial features along with the other features and it is computationally efficient. And another thing that I want to add that because right now in India, as well as all over the, uh, all over the world, the osteoarthritis is a major problem. And the, there is no specific cure for that. The only key thing is that whether you can detect at the early stage, then you have a lot of time to, uh, to, to uh, stop the progression of the disease. And that's the area we are targeting. And say for example in Kale grade, you have 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. And 4 means the very severe, 0 means normal. And when you have 3 to 4, it's very easily detectable. But it's crucial whether you are at the stage 0 or 1 or 2. So if you can detect at that early stage, it, is, it will be beneficial for the um, society and the, for a particular person who is suffering from that disease. So there is a uh, different pictures of the grade 0, grade 1, grade 2, and grade 3, grade 4. And you can see the, uh, the gap between the two bones. OK, so consider this grade 4 one. So there is a sufficient gap and there is not so much, almost these two are uh, close, very close to each other. Now there are, uh, these are x-ray images and there are various methods like HNNet, HNNet, ordinal loss and the uh, cross entropy and all those things. And they are also detecting, but what we are proposing, we are just concentrating on the area which is much more important. So there is enough gap, but here is, uh, there is almost no gap. So our method with the osteo HR net with ordinal loss, it is able to pinpoint the area which is medically most uh, important area to decide that uh, the severity level of the osteoarthritis. And I think that this will be beneficial extremely in terms of the uh, medical technology. And another uh, thing is that even we have the MRI scan or the CT scan, but they are expensive and not available in the remote areas. X-ray is a cheap one and it is easily available in the remote areas also. And now the problem is that even if you have that X-ray image with you, you need a radiologist and a medical expert to assess that what kind of severity level of the knee osteoarthritis is there. And that's why our work is so much important and because when you, have a, you need an expert, the subjectivity comes into the pictures. So our work will help the medical practitioners to assess the uh, accuracy of the results to improve the accuracy and also if there is a shortage of this uh, medical expert our uh, method can be there to predict the severity level at an early stage say for example if you are in a uh, remote area if you have extra images so we are working in future we want to see that kind of work that you just take a picture of your x-ray from your mobile and you just put it into a mobile app and it automatically predicts the severity level at the real time so that way you are reducing maybe sometimes two to three weeks to start your medications and that can be a game changer in terms of this from the patient perspective and from the medical perspective also. I hope to see that kind of change in future. Thank you.